folks, Gary Bunzer here, the RV Doctor, along with Chuck Woodbury, editor and publisher of RVTravel.com. Chuck's good to have you here. Yeah, it's great to be here. In an earlier discussion, we talked about state parks and national parks. I'm curious because I don't get to travel as much as you do in an RV. I would love to visit the national parks. What have some of been some of your experiences with the national parks? Well, the national parks, <clears throat> excuse me, the national parks, despite their uh, talk about budget cutbacks and everything. I mean, really, you don't see it. I don't see it. Um, national parks are wonderful. We're lucky to have them. The provincial parks up in Canada and the national parks of Canada, you know, not very far away. Those are wonderful, too. I mean, here we've got uh, Olympic National Park, Mount Rainier, beautiful parks. Um, go down south, Lassen National Park, you know, which was the volcano that erupted before Mount St. Helens. Mm -hmm. Beautiful place, beautiful campgrounds. Um, um, in the southwest, people to go to the southwest, you absolutely, uh, RVers, I say, go to the Red Rock parts of southern Utah, mm -hmm. Zion, Bryce, mm -hmm. Capitol Reef is one people don't know too much about. It's, they are beautiful, That the red and the, 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 the RV, the parks within the, uh, the campgrounds within the parks mm -hmm. are, are, are just, they're, they're, you know, they're spaced apart nicely. There's trails, there's nature programs. Um, are there organized tours that will take RVers on these expeditions? I know there are some great uh, tours for Alaska and some of those areas, but what about the national park scene? Do they actually go to the national parks yeah, with some of these tours? Yeah, you, there are tours that are put on by uh, various tour companies that will, um, where you can caravan with other RVers to Alaska or the Southwest or, you know, there are, you can fly to New Zealand and they'll set you up with an RV down there. So, mm -hmm. yes, a lot of people um, pr like to go on tours because everything's taken care of. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, you have your own day, but you start off in a certain place, you end up in a certain place. You may have places along the way. Um, and you're still living in your own home at the same time. And you're in your so, RV. Yeah. And, um, and there's, you know, they sit around at night by the campfire, and, um, and so they have that camaraderie. And they make, and as you do on any tour, you make friends. So, yeah, there's a lot of them that go to the national parks. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, of course, our state parks here in Washington and Oregon are oh. beautiful. I mean, state parks throughout the country, they're all a little different in how sure. they operate. But they're all beautiful. Um, uh, I mean, really in Washington and, and Oregon, we are two of the nicest state park systems. So having the ability to travel in our own RV with a group to a national park or just going to a national park uh, or going to a private campground or even just out in the middle of nowhere by a nice calm a trout stream, we can enjoy all of that with the RVing lifestyle. Yeah, I think the you know the national parks obviously are wonderful um, state parks, but a lot of uh, commercial campgrounds, and there are a lot of them these days. They range in, from just places where you go park overnight and you're on the way somewhere to really destinations where people go and stay for a week with all kinds of things going on. It's very, a lot of them these days have a lot of programs for kids. So if you have children, you can go to some of these commercial parks and they have you know, ice cream socials, and they have hay wagon rides, mm -hmm. and and um, movies in the evening. All kinds of entertainment, entertainment playgrounds sure, for kids, sure. and um, and then the boondocking. These are the people that go out and just uh, on the public lands of the Southwest and go out and never see another person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, and so there's really, uh, you know, and there are people that. Uh, that commonly w going from one place to the other, there's a lot of free places you can stop along the way. There's mm -hmm. states where it's okay to stay overnight in a rest area. There are places like Walmart that people uh, 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 is known as being a, a, an overnight stop for mm -hmm. people that mm -hmm. you know maybe can't find a campground or um, otherwise uh, it's it, it's they get sick, they get too tired to go on. Right. There's that. So, I mean, there's everything. It's really. basically endless possibilities when you get right down to it. If you had to single it up, folks, traveling in an RV basically gives you open-ended possibilities for enjoying either your hobbies uh, as a work place, if you do work from your RV, mm -hmm. as Chuck does when he travels. Uh, the possibilities are endless. It's totally up to you, which is the great thing about this country and about uh, the RVing industry. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck, for being here. Folks, there you have it.